Hey, my name is Cody Moon. I'm the head brewer here at Science Center Brewing in Logansport, Indiana. Yeah, so um, I'm from Fort Wayne. I uh, still live there. I'm Tim Eaton, who's the owner of uh, the brewery. I'm happy to be coming through, um, dropping his kid off at College of Pennsylvania. Uh, was at one of the breweries there that I have, I have a friend that was a bartender there. Um, was like, hey, I want to do this. And he was like, hey, can I give your information to him? I said, sure. Um, three or four months went by. Honestly, I didn't, I totally forgot it even happened. Um, and then Tim reached out to the homebrew club, which I'm still a president of there in, in the Mash Fort Wayne homebrew club. I kept started hanging out, started meeting, started looking at buildings, and it kind of just took off. Um, originally, I didn't want to do this yet. I, I have a day job where I'm an elementary school teacher. I didn't want to give that up. I love what I do. Um, and he kind of worked with my schedule to make it work. So uh, here we are, our own beer. This is my first commercial job. Uh, I went from eight years or seven, eight years home brewing um, to right to here. And when the equipment showed up, it was like a whole new world. Like um, it was any time I got, I needed anything, I text or email. Um, Tom Miller, who's my rep, was here working July third uh, week, the, uh, the Fourth of July weekend on my Glacol chore with me, which isn't even technically your equipment, but I bought it with the equipment, so he felt guilty and was here and. Um, but it's anytime I text him or anytime I have a question, he's got he's got answers for me. He's got suggestions for me. It's, it's easy to just reach out and say, hey, like what's going on? You know, I, we bought um, the manifold recently, and I went and picked it up. I had never been anywhere as his warehouses. You know, he showed me the warehouse where that was at. We went to meet with other warehouse. I'd see them both. Um, as a home a home brew past, it was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, oh my gosh, like look at all these awesome things that like I have always wanted as the home brew side. Um, and I have that in a little bit bigger. I saw the three and a half and it was kind of just, hey, you're, you know, you're very local. I mean, that's originally what happened. Um, after that, I instantly started falling in love with the equipment and I think we own nearly every single thing you guys offer on the pro side, which is awesome. Stuff works the way it's supposed to work. Um, I'm not really worried about if issues or anything coming in. Um, you know, I, I work a day job, I come here and brew at night. I don't want the night to end at midnight and I still have an hour drive home and I'm back in the morning to teach. So. Um, you know, it's one of those things where knowing the equipment is going to work the way it's supposed to work and knowing the equipment and how it's going to work out and um, it's just been a giant blessing. So it's been very lucky to have that. The piece of equipment I think that I'm just still so blown away by and how is the false bottom in the, in the mash tun. And um, I had the false bottom on the homebrew side and I really liked it. Um, and I was like, there's no way you can convert that to 150 you know, gallon kettle size. Um, and it's amazing. It's, you know, I I send photos all the time of the, the, the clear wort going to the kettle or the clear wort going to the fermenter. Um, just blown away by how, you know, even with heavy, heavy, weak, constant um, grains, um, that, that that circulation and that cleaning this up of is always perfect. Um, I'm 25 batches in and I probably should knock on some wood, but I haven't had a stuck sparge at all, or stuck mash at all, um, which makes it another thing. It's easy to understand that it's gonna work. I'm not gonna get stuck here for six hours trying to fix or get liquid out of a mash tun. Um, it's gonna be consistent and uh, it's easy to use. So, big fan of that. I, I never thought I'd be here. Uh, and even when we partnered up, I was like, ah, I don't know about all this. Um, but the equipment started showing up and buildings started taking shape and the windows were getting changed out, walls were going up and uh, all of a sudden we went from an idea to physically a brewery and uh, you know it's been two and a half months since we opened and uh, we haven't turned back so we're looking, you know, looking forward to new things, uh, planning bigger things to make us put our, you know, get our name on the map. You know the brewery is called Science Project Brewing. Um, when we, I'm, a, I'm an elementary school science teacher is how we got that started um, and then we kind of grew on that with the idea that like to us um, every batch of beer is a science project. You know, we could go uh, one or two ways. It could be something totally different. It could be something totally classic. Um, kind of like what we had here today. Um, we did go with flight, little five ounce pours, um, beaker glasses for our flights. So our pint glasses, unfortunately, are in roll glasses, but our flights are in beaker glasses. Um, to kind of play on that theme. Um, and then uh, the two I have here is our Prost, which is our fest beer from our October Fest party back on the 1st, and our Double Felix, which is a uh, kettle sour with blackberry and raspberry puree. If you're looking to, you know, go a little bit step bigger, either um, from equipment you have to a bigger set of equipment, or if you're going from home brewing to this, um, I would definitely look at Blickman. Um, the customer service has been great for me. The equipment's been great for me. Um, you know, it's, they're always really a text or email away. Um, they literally have anything you can think of that you might need or might want and if they don't 
there's some sort of idea how you can use that. Um, but very thankful to have them so close to home, about 40 minutes away, um, and been able to really connect with them and create our brand using their brand. So very appreciative.